Faith. Apat lang talaga kayo? May nawawala. Hindi po naka, ano, si Clarence, sir. Bakit daw? Wala pong sinabing reason, eh. Ay, okay, sige. Hindi, hindi siya kasama sa, ano. Sir, walang mic pala si Ate Kisha po. Oo, oh, ano, anong gamit niyan? Na, Kisha? ano po, sira daw po yung mic ng kanyang laptop. Ako po magabasa ng kanya. Sira, Mike? Oo. Sino? Sino walang mic sa inyo? Si Ate Kish Bohol po. Ah. Ah, ito may mic dito sa bahay. Kunin mo muna. <laughs> Katan ka yata. Sige, start now. Good morning muna tayo. Pray muna kayo. Good na. Good. Parlin. May assign someone. Good morning, sir. Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Start. Start na kayo. Okay. Go na, Kish. Go na po. Okay na po, sir. Hmm. Okay, start na kayo. Ang yung paghihintay. Okay. A younger generation being obsessed with followers and like. In social media in San Roque National High School, Senior 2021-2022. Kish, slide mo. Paki full screen. Full screen nyo. Full screen daw, Mare. Background of the study, each generation undergoes a change in the habits of the people, especially the young. Nowadays, social media sites are very popular with young people, especially how now that there is a pandemic. Having social media sites bring anxiety and depression to them. One of these is being obsessed with followers and likes on all platforms. We want to state this problem so that we can know how much young people are upset with social media sites. The, sta the status of young people around the world who are obsessed with followers and likes on social media are increasing even children who should not be using social media are also using it. It is having a detrimental effect especially on their mental health. If you look at the status here in the Philippines, there is almost a big chance that large percentage of young people use social media. There is also attraction of followers likes on social media sites. There is no wait lang. Wait lang po. Kish slide. Next slide, Kish. Wala. May ano kayo, presentation? Hindi ko nakikita. Me Meron. Okay, next. 
if you look at the status here in the Philippines, there is there is a big chance that a large percentage of young people use social media. Here in Antipolo City at San Roque National High School, we will find out on how those students use different social media platforms on their daily life. Also, about the chances of how many of our young people already have social media. Do we have to spend a lot of likes when we <coughs> upload and have a lot of followers? What is the net effect on San Roque National student, high school students? Next slide. Kish, next slide. There are many reasons why young people are wait, are obsessed with social media sites nowadays. We also we also want to know what those reasons are and what is the specific effect on one's health. In order to gain a lot of likes and followers, they also do the things that will help them to get a lot of human attention and be famous or popular. They are such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Treatment of the problem, this is aims to know why a younger generation obsessed with the number of viewers and likes in different online platforms. Especially, it's so to answer the following question. What is the demographic profile of the respondent in terms of age, sex, grade level? Next, at the case. To what are the specific reason for the numbers of followers in life? Three, in what specific platforms do they share their runs, photos, and videos? For being obsessed with the follow followers in life, fix their personality. Five, what is the current state of the generation? Based on our survey to the, stu to the student in San Roque National High School, there is specific reason why they're so abused with numbers of followers and likes is they are jealous who become famous simple, simply because of the increase in followers and likes on social media. This is also where they get an increase in self-esteem. We asked them if it affects their personality and they said yes. Because of this day are because of this day are on often scolded or reprimanded by their parents for their addiction to social media. Pa next na po.
Conclusion Excessive social media news can not only cause unhappiness and a general dissatisfaction with life in user, but also increase the risk of developing mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. Amongst the most widely recognized causes of addiction to social media are low self-instant, personal dissatisfaction, depression, and hyperactivity, and even lack of affection, a deficiency that adolescents frequently try to replace with the famous like. Past studies have found that students who spend more time on social media sites are likely to demonstrate poor academic performance. This is because they spend time chatting online and making friends on, on social media sites instead of reading books. There are many positive aspects of social media, but there's also a darker side to the endless scroll that keeps coming back for more. Social media can often harm one's mental health, it can cause depression and anxiety, and can lower self-esteem. Pa next po. Recommendation. It's recommended that use of social media among young people should be limited, especially when it was a negative effect on us. It is also recommended that the younger youth need more focus on their studies more than social media. Although social media can help us, especially now, now in online learning, we should limit ourselves to use too much in social media. It is suggested that even we use online platforms, we should be responsible of what we're doing and limited ourselves because it has many negative effects. Next. Output of the study. The study is aiming to tell everyone a different effect of focusing on social media on how does it may affect the bond between the family friends and others. Also, the focus of this study is why teenagers being addicted in followers at social media and how teenagers handle or limit themselves in being addictive in social media followers and likes. In order to prevent study from becoming too broad and potentially getting out of the topic, it will mainly focus on why the teenager in San Roque National High School is obsessed with in followers and likes in social media platforms. It's also about the negative effect and the reason of every teenager. Next four. Tapos na kayo? Yes po. Ako naman ngayon. O sige. So here are the recommendations for the improvement of your research. Pakibalik nyo sa unang slide. Ate Kish, balik daw po sa unang slide. Insights in younger generation. Being obsessed with followers and likes in social media. Oh, ayusin natin title nyo, ha? Sir, wait lang po. Hmm. Yung notebook, saka yung ballpen nyo, pakihanda. Marami-rami to. Na-check ko pa yung title nyo? Pina-check nyo sa akin yan. Sinend po, sino, ako po nag-send doon sa iyo, sir. Saan? Sa messenger po. Okay. So, unang-una, sino yung subject nyo? Saan ang galing ang subject nyo? Ibig ko sabihin, yung respondents nyo, saan ang galing? Yung mga nagsagot, may, may meron ba? May nagpasagot ba kayo o baka kayo kayo lang nag-invent? San Roque po, sir. Ah. San Roque. Student ng San Roque. Anong ginamit yung uh, instrument? Survey po. Ba, pa, ba't parang di ka sigurado? Ka? Survey po, sir. 
Ha? Patingin nga nung ginamit yung survey questionnaire. Nasa Google Docs, sir. Google Docs. Apo. Pwede pang ipakita ngayon? Send ko po sa GC, sir. Sa GC? Apo. Sa, sa GC? Apo, sa 12 guys po. Nakalagay dito, Hannah Jane, unsent message. Wait lang po. <laughs> Yung may sagot ha, may sagot ba yung sesan mo dito? Ano po? Yung may sagot, yung sinagutan mismo. Di ba sabi yun, survey questionnaire. O nasa na ngayon yung may sagot na survey questionnaire? Ha. Oh. Tagal naman. O oh, sige habang sinesan mo, ayusin natin yung title nyo. Gusto ko makita lang yung mga sagot ng mga respondents nyo. Meron wala. <laughs> ah. Meron pa talaga wala. No. Oh. Anong grade? Sige, anong grade? Ang respondent? 11, 11 to 12 po, sir. Oh, 11 to 12. O, oh, makinig. Sa title nyo. Insights of grade 11 and 12 students of San Roque National High School on followers and likes in social medias social media walang s Okay na po, sir. Okay na. O, oh, next. Background of this study. Okay. So, first paragraph. Tell something about your research. Uh, second paragraph. Nasan ang legal basis? Dapat. Legal basis o batas na may kinalaman sa study nyo. Meron ba? Wala. Meron kayo nilagay? Wala. Wala. O, hanap kayo ng legal basis, ha? So, yun yung second paragraph. Pamagat ng Republic Act o kaya Dep and Order about uh, social media and... Ano yung nilalaman nun? Again, that can be stated in 3 to 4 paragraphs. Or 3 to 4 sentences. What I mean. So, yun yun. Second paragraph, legal basis. Third paragraph. Oh, sa third paragraph, i-connect ang legal basis sa study nyo. Establish the connection of the legal basis to your study. Fourth paragraph, problem. Problems you observe or reasons for conducting your present study. Bakit kailangan? Bakit yung ginawa yung study na yan? What are the problems you observe? Dapat yan, with supporting RRL yan. Hindi lang basta inimbento nyo yung problema. Ano? It can be in news. It can be from news. I magazine na may problema talaga sa likes and being obsessed in the number of followers. So, dapat na mapatunayan nyo yan. And then, number five. 
the possible outcome or what will be the result of your study? Yeah, possible outcome, the result, possible benefits of your study. So, limang paragraphs, sundin nyo yan. Ano? You revise your background of this study. Next, statement of the problem. All right. What's the demographic profile? Nasaan yung result niyan? SOP number one. Nasaan yung resulta? Sir, nasaan ka na po sa GC? <laughs> Pambihira. Ano ba ito? Na-blurred na, blurred na to ah. So, Ay. may resulta to. Dinistress nyo ba to? Asan yung discussion nito? Paano so, discussion Sir. Oh, pagpapakita ng graph, after ng graph, may pangalan yung graph, tungkol saan yung graph. So you discuss it in four paragraph. Bawat graph. So yung first paragraph pertains to the content of the graph or the chart or the table, kung anong gagamitin nyo. First paragraph, the content. Didiscuss nyo. Halimbawa, sa age, ano yung pinaka- Mataas, pinakamarami, yung topmost, and then the least, pinakamababa. So yun yun, yung content. The first paragraph. Then second paragraph, meaning. Ano ang meaning ngayon? Alimbawa, ano yung kahulugan nung sa uh, data? Alimbawa, ang kahulugan ay most of the students are, uh, kumbaga, 17. So, ibig sabihin, it means that they are on the right age of being grade 11 or being grade 12. So, ilagbigay nyo kung anong kahulugan nun. Ano? So, kung karamihan na limbawa sa grade 11 ay 16, sa grade 12 ay 17. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Yun yun. Ilagay nyo sa second paragraph, meaning. And then, third paragraph, Implication. Ano yung implication? Pag sinabing implication, it can be an effect. Malalim na pakaulugan. Sa inyo namang gagaling yan, hindi yan sa table mang gagaling. Alimbawa, grade uh, na nanaman nyo from the first and second paragraph na most of the grade 12 students are 17. O ibig sabihin, right age na sila. They are in the right mind to absorb all the lectures which can be given to them. So, yun yung implication. O halimbawa man, implication. Karamihan sa grade 12, puro mga 25 na. 25, 27. O pagka ganun, what will be the implication? Matatanda na yan. Ibig sabihin, ang ilan dyan, nagtatrabaho na. O, gets nyo? Baka they may find difficult to uh, study and at the same time being employed or magtrabaho. So, yun yung implication. Sa inyo naman gagaling yun. Ano ang pwedeng pakahulugan ng data? That is the third paragraph. The gets? Apo. Okay, then next, fourth paragraph, parallel study. So, hanap naman kayo ng study. Halimbawa, according to URSAL 2050. O, oh, ganito yan ha. The, uh, the findings is similar or parallel with the study of Ursal 20, ano, 2159 that most of the grade 12 students are at the age of 17. O, hanap kayo ng parallel, kaparehas ng resulta. O kaya naman, pwedeng kabaliktaran, contradicting study. The result of the present study is contradicting to the findings of IAPE 2018 that most of the grade 12 students are 30 years old. <laughs> so, contradicting na yun. Ano? So, yun yun. Four paragraph format sa pag-discuss ng bawat table. Okay po? Nakakaintindihan? First paragraph, content. Second paragraph, meaning. Third paragraph, implication. And fourth paragraph is par parallel or contradicting study. Alam kayo sa RRL nyo. 
Okay? Next. SOP number two. Okay, specific reason. Nasa ng findings nyo? Anong findings? <laughs> SOP number two. Meron kayong demographic profile. Nasa yung resulta? Ano yung mga reason na sinabi? Nasa yung sagot ng mga respondents? Andyan, sir, sir. Andyan si po. Oh. Eh, dapat yan. Nakatable yan. In, dapat yan, nakatable rin yan Nakagrap din May four paragraph na paliwanag rin Nuggets nyo So for is Para sa bawat problem Statement of the problem May specific yan na chart Or graph or table Na nakalagay ang resulta Naintindihan nyo? Ha? Ano yung specific reason Na lumabas? Why they are obsessed? Oh, you may rank it one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh yes, kada question may four paragraph. Depend yon. Pagay nung question number one mo, bike mo sa SOP number one. Bike nyo sa SOP number one. Hmm, yan. Merong kang one point one age. Yan may four paragraph na explanation yon. Yung sa sex, ganun din. May four paragraph. Kasi may kanya-kanyang chart yan eh. May kanya-kanyang graph yan. Naintindihan? Yung sa grade level, may four paragraph din yan. O, dun sa next, number two. Kasi may mga sub-problems kayo dyan. Number two. SOP number two. O, yan. May four paragraph rin yan. May graph or chart or table, and then followed by four paragraph na explanation. Nag-gets nyo? Opo. O. Oh. Number three. Specific online platforms. O. Oh, baguhin nyo yan. Baguhin nga natin yung SOP nyo. Tanggal nyo word na day. There. Sino ba tinutukoy nyo dyan? Na day. There. Iwasan nyo gumamit ng ganyan, ha? Ng third uh, person. Sa mga tanong or sa pagdi-discuss. So, number two, what are the specific reasons of students for being obsessed? Or, what are the specific reasons of grade 11 and 12 students for being obsessed? Tanggal yung word na day. Okay, so that, for being obsessed. With the numbers of followers and likes. 10, 49. Number three. In what specific online platforms do grade 11 and 12 students share rants, photos, and videos? O, oh, nasaan yung resulta niyan? Wala, sir, wala po kami nagawang paragraph, paragraph po. Eh, yun nga eh. May, eh ito nga yata, wala rin kayong resulta nito eh. Hindi tingnan ko dito eh. Nasaan yung online platform dito? Ang oh. result, yun mostly po Twitter and ano po, eh, dapat Facebook. Nga, dapat nga ito, isinasummarize nyo. Ilan yung nagsabi ng Twitter? Ilan yung nagsabi ng Facebook? Ilang percent? And then, irarank nyo. Ano yung rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4, rank 5? Ganyan yan. Hindi yan basta-basta tinitirada ng para lang kayo naglatag ng campaign material sa election. Hindi ganyan yan, ha? Research yan. Formal paper yan. Ano? Number 4. <laughs> Affect their personal Ano to? Open-ended question? Being obsessed with followers and like Affect their personality Tanong ba yan? Or Praise 
sentence. How do or how do obsession and likes in the social media affects the personality of the grade 11 and 12 participants. Oh, ngayon, ibig sabihin, paano nakakapekto sa personality? Yun yung tanong nyo. Open-ended question yan. So, paano ba din nagdi-discuss ng open-ended question? So, still, pagdating naman dyan, yan ay uh, qualitative discussion. Pagdating sa opinion, paano nagdi-discuss ng opinion? Hindi iyan na ilalagay sa graph patayibol yan kumukuha kayo ng team tema o paano hindi nyo ako naintindihan paki-end muna yung slideshow pakikita ko sa inyo yung pagdi-discuss pagka open-ended question nakuha nyo yung tanong yung binago kong tanong pero that is just the same dyan ha, sa, sa tinatanong nyo magulo yung tanong nyo eh Paki-end muna yung presentation. I will share this presentation para makita nyo kung paano nagdi-discuss niyan. Yan, kita nyo na? Kita na po ba? Sumabot po tayo. Apo. O, yes, yan. sir. Pakikita ko yun ng sample ng uh, thematic discussion. So, ito ay nag-interview mismo talaga. Ayan. So, ang tanong dito ay how does the subject splitting approach? Yung ginagawa nyo ngayon, subject splitting, we're in first set, limang subject lang. Second set, apat na subject. Hinati, subject splitting. Yung ginagawa nyo ngayon. Ano, yan nangyari sa mga subject nyo ngayon. So, ang sabi dito, pa-interview to. Ayan. So, mula sa interview, isinamarize nila yan. Gumawa sila ng transcript, transcription sa mga sagot. So, mm -hmm. Teka, stop sharing ko muna. Yan. Yung transcription is the summary of the answer. Ano? Nakikita nyo na? Interview transcription. Hmm? Sir, hindi po. Hindi. Hindi. Kita, mali. Maliit? Maliit? Naliliitan ka? Uh... O, oh, ayan. Kita na ba? Yes po. Kita nyo na, malaki na. O, oh, yan yung interview transcription. Meron doon 36 na participants. So, bawat sagot ng participants ay inilagay. Eto, participant 1. So, ang tanong ay, ano ba yung benefits? What are the benefits of subject splitting approach on actual work of the teachers? So, team teacher to. So, sabi ni participant 1, subject splitting is helpful to the student because 
they can focus on a specific subject. Kaya nga lang, hindi yun ang nangyayari. Imbis na mag-focus kung anong pinagagawa. So, number four, sabi, it's a helpful way to give more time to focus. So, dun sa mga sagot, ay may mababasa kayo dyan na, kung ba, may mababasa kayo dyan na paulit-ulit. So, in this case, ang concept na paulit-ulit sa mga sinabi ng respondents ay more focus on lesson preparation. Clear mindset. So, ibig sabihin, nakapag-prepare, nakapag-focus sa lesson preparation si teacher. So, ang code ay SF. Ibig sabihin, subject focus. So, yung nakuwang team na una ay subject focus. Ano? Okay. So, si subject focus ang una. Diyan ang galing yung nandito. Okay, kita? Yung nasa table? Kita po? Apo. Ayan. How the subject splitting approach help the actual work of the teacher? So, yun yung pamagat. So, yung benefits of the subject splitting approach. So, ito yun. Subject focus. Nakita? Yan yung lumabas. Ang ikalawang lumabas sa mga interview, sufficient time allotment. So, from subject focus, first part ng discussion, define ko ngayon anong ibig sabihin ng subject focus. So, dinefine ko muna si subject. Subject is an area of knowledge, blah, blah, blah. And then, according to Miriam, focus is defined as center of activity. Oh, and then, afterwards, pinagsama ngayon. Combining the definition of the two words described in this paragraph, Subject focus can be defined operationally as giving attention to subject in school, treating it as the center of mind to accomplish all the tasks associated. So, ibig sabihin, sa first part, i-define si subject focus. Sa first and second paragraph. Okay? Naintindihan po, yun yung first part. Then, second part naman ng discussion ay ilalagay, yan o, tingnan nyo, Ilalagay yung mga supporting statement. Ito na yung mga sagot ng participant. Nakita po ba yung nakahilis? Nakahilis. Nakita po. Pakibasa nga po yung nakahilis ng mga salita. Nakaitalik. Participant 1, cited. Pakibasa. Ay nyo. Subject splitting is helpful to the pupils nowadays because they okay. can focus. Okay na. So, yan yung mga, sa second part ng discussion naman, after definition sa first part, second part, yung mga supporting statement na mga participant mismo. Yung mismong mga sagot, inilagay dito. So, ayan. Kikita nyo? Ang dami niyan. Hanggang lahat ng participant yan. Basta yung sagot ng participant, may kinalaman, nagsusupport dun sa sub, uh, subject focus, o oh, ayan, inilagay lahat. Pero hindi lahat, ha? may participant kasi na hindi sinagot yun. Eh. O tingnan nyo, 33, 34, 36 na, wala sa 35. Kasi wala namang kinalaman sa subject focus yung sagot niya. So yun yun. And then third paragraph, implication. O ganun pa rin, implication. So what will be the effect? O oh, ayan. As the teachers gave focus on subjects to be taught, more quality on instruction is attained on teaching and learning process. So, kaparehas rin. Implication and then last paragraph, fourth part, ay parallel or contradicting study. So, ganyan ang pagdidiscuss ng thematic. Ano? Thematic yan, ang tawag dyan. Thematic discussion. Yan yung gagamitin nyo, ganyan yung way ng pagdidiscuss nyo dun sa inyong SOP number 4. Naintindihan? Apo. Okay. Sige, sana natututo kayo. Okay, pakipresent ulit yung inyong gawa. Sorry ah, madugo kasi to. Madugo yung ginawa nyo eh. Daming kulang eh. Kaya maraming itatama. Okay, paki-present uli, balik tayo sa inyo. 
Back to you, Kuya Will. <laughs> Present, present, present. Yan. Oh. SOP number 5. Tanggalin nyo na yan. Paltan natin. Paltan natin yan. Magulo yung number 5 nyo rin. So may profile kayo sa pakibay sa SOP number 1 nyo. Yan. Yan yung profile. Ngayon, anong gamit niyan? Bakit nyo kinuha yan? Para lang malaman yung age o yung karamihan ng uh, grade level or gender ng participants? Saan gagamitin yan? Sige. SOP number 5. Paki-next slide sa number 2, 3, 4 nyo. Yan. Is there a significant correlation? Pakisulat. Ito na, naging, ito na magiging number 5 nyo. Is there a significant correlation between the profile of the respondents and reasons? for being obsessed with the numbers of followers and likes and reasons for being obsessed on the numbers of followers and likes. O ngayon, yan yun, correlation. So, ibig sabihin, may kinalaman ba si age sa pagiging obsessed sa number of likes and followers? Pag ba 17, ay hindi obsessed. Pag ba 20 ang age, ay obsessed na obsessed. Iko-correlate nyo ngayon kung may kinalaman yan. So, may gamit na ngayon yung profile nyo. Ano? Gagamitin nyo pang susob dyan ay Pearson Moment Correlation. Pearson's R. Nasa lecture yan kung paano ginagawa. And then, pwede kayo magtanong sa akin kung hindi nyo maintindihan on how to solve, ano? how to compute. You can ask me personally. So, next, conclusion. Conclusion. Punta tayo sa conclusion. Oh, ang conclusion, last, tandaan nyo, ay may kaugnayan dapat sa inyong statement of the problem. Halimbawa, yung SOP1 nyo, pakibalik. Hmm. Oh. Dapat conclusion number one nyo, one sentence lang, may kinalaman sa profile ng respondents. Naintindihan? Tapos recommendation number one nyo, may kinalaman rin sa conclusion number one. Magkakapatid po yan, pare nakakadena. SOP1, nakaangkla dun yung Conclusion 1. Yung recommendation 1, nakaangkla naman sa conclusion 1. Kung may problema, mag-recommend kayo. Kung walang problema, edi recommend na ituloy kung ano yung ginagawa. O, number 2. SOP number 2. Patingin. O. So, specific reasons. So what can you conclude? Ano yung reasons ng being obsessed with the numbers of likes and followers? Mostly saan nakapokus? Bakit nila gusto? Conclude. And then from that, see to it. I-analyze nyo kung beneficial pa ba or hindi. 
and then recommend base sa conclusion number two. Nagets niyo yung connection SOP1 dapat nakabase yung conclusion 1, nakabase yung recommendation 1. Magkakapatid. O. Oh. Recommendation number 2 nakabase sa conclusion number 2. Yung conclusion number 2 nakabase naman sa SOP number 2. Nagets? Nagets po? Apo. Sigurado? O, oh, yung Conclusion number three. Saan nakabase? Pero ulit nga po. <laughs> statement of the problem number one. Doon nyo dapat, may findings yan. Conclusion number one, nakabase sa SOP1. Huwag kayo magpaligaw-ligaw. Hindi pa paragraph ang conclusion. Bulleted type yan. Number. Number one, Conclusion 1, 2, 3, 4. Kung apat ang inyong SOP, apat rin ang conclusion nyo. Tigi-tigi sa yan. Kung ang inyong SOP number 1 may kinalaman sa profile ng respondents, dapat yung conclusion 1 nyo, it's all about profile of the respondents. Nagets? Apo. As well as recommendation nyo, dapat naka-base rin. Dapat tungkol rin sa profile ng respondents. Ang SOP number 2 nyo, basahin nyo, specific reasons for being obsessed. Dapat yung conclusion nyo, may kinalaman rin sa SOP number 2. May kinalaman sa being obsessed. Tingnan nyo yung findings nyo. Anong may co-conclude nyo? And then, isip, 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 isip. Problema ba o hindi? And from that, recommendation number 2. Nakabase sa conclusion number 2. Nuggets nyo, Parang magkakadikit lang yan. SOP 3, Conclusion 3, Recommendation 3. SOP 4, Conclusion 4, Recommendation 4. Nuggets? Magkakakonekta yan dapat. Hindi lumalayo yan. Nakuha po ba, Ursal? Ah. Ikaw, Kolanta, nakuha mo? Medyo, sir. Medyo. Medyo. Ulitin nyo to, ha. <laughs> <laughs> I-upload ko sa YouTube to. Panoorin nyo ulit kung hindi nyo maintindihan. Nakakapangatlong ulit na ako sa inyo. Oh, okay. Okay po. Apo. Conclusion 4. Nakabase sa recommend... Base sa... SOP number 4. Kung number 4 nyo, affecting personality, how yung being obsessed, ah, ano? So, yun, wait lang, ah, may ano, Okay, that's good. Hmm. Delay? <laughs> Late reaction eh. Sir, gets ko na, sir. Oh, gets mo na. Very good. Connected okay. na siya. Okay, so sige. Uh, saan na tayo? Output ng study. Output. Uh, 
O, pag sinabing output plus ay paano nyo, embawa, uh, napatunayan nyo sa study na obsess. Nakakasama yung pagiging obsess sa likes and followers. Salimbawa lang, yun na resulta, no? Ay nag-recommend kayo. So, paano nyo ngayon ipapakita in a visible product yung recommendation nyo? Uh, alimbawa, pwede kayong gumawa ng advocacy video. Uh, pakikita nyo dun sa video na ito yung mga epekto ng being obsessed. O paano ba, and then, uh, paano may iwasan yung being obsessed? Pwede ganun. Gagawa kayo ng video output. Yung makakatulong talaga product. O kaya ba, gagawa kayo ng pamphlet. O kaya tarpulin na nakalagay dun yung mga negative effects ng being obsessed. Ano? And then how to avoid being obsessed sa likes and followers. Okay? Okay po ba? Yun yung output. Depende yan sa inyo. Pwede rin kayong gumawa ng libro, ng module, ng ano pa ba? O pwede kayong gumawa ng website about the result of your study. Hmm. O. Oh. O, oh, sige. Sige. Okay po. Mali na po ba kung ano yung output ng study? Oh, sige. May tanong pa po ba kayo? May tanong? Okay na po ba yung recommendation na in-notes nyo lahat? Ah, okay nakatulong, na po. Nakatulong po ba yung ating presentation ngayon? Ha? Opo. <laughs> Oy, ay, eto, alam kong academic health break kayo ngayon. Pero alam ko naman na kagagaling, ewan ko ba, nasa bahay na nga lang, wala na nang ginagawa eh. Tapos kagagaling ng sa Christmas vacation. Tapos break na naman. Amay, di wala na kayo natapos niyan. So sana medyo maintindihan niyo rin kung bakit natin 'to ginawa no. Hindi naman para sa akin 'to eh. Para sa inyo rin 'yan sa totoo lang. Eh ako dapat nagpapahinga na rin ako ngayon. Ano? Okay, sige, kung wala nang tanong ay pwede niyo namang ipanoorin yung replay nito. Kung ano ba may namis kayo. Upload ko sa YouTube 'tong video na 'to. Okay? Okay po ba? Seryoso <laughs> 'to. Oo naman. Para at least eh Uh, famous kayo sa buong mundo. <laughs> marami kaya, kaya ni study nyo, being obsessed, marami magla-like dyan, marami magpapalaw. <laughs> Send ko sa inyo yung link na lang nito. Ano? Na. Uh, Stop ka na. Oh, hindi, send ko sa inyo. I-PPM ko sa inyo yung link. O. Oh. Sige po, send. Sige, thank you. Pwede na kayo mag-out. Thank you, Thank you po. Thank you po, sir. Sige. Tawagin yung susunod. Sige po. Daddy. Sen po na reto. Daddy. Sen po na reto. Sen po na reto. Sige.
Sabi next door for Papa Ayala. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Hello, po. 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 Hoy, social social distancing, wear your, your face mask. Sir, I'm vaccinated. Face mask. Okay, sir. Sir, I'm vaccinated. Hoy, sir, I'm vaccinated. Sir, I'm vaccinated. Hindi ko tika kayo, mamaya may COVID ang isa sa inyo eh. Sir, 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 naka in ka pa. Eh, ano yung sir din yung pumarinig ng ano namin? Hindi kaya naman natin yun. Yung match. Hindi, hindi ko. Hindi ko kayo. Okay. Bulo lang ko. In na. Wait lang po. Start now. Start now. Start now. I'm fat with a thing. Okay. Ano yung matawa? Ano yung matawa? In na. Start na. Start na kami. Oo. Good morning, sir. I good morning, Mr. Paul Jensi Ocampo. This is the this is the presentation of our. Alam ko this is the report. This is ah ah no. We are the researcher. Oh, my name is Cedric Tan. I'm Justin Vanessa Salata. I'm Roxette Madrona Molina. I'm Jennifer Pasorio. I'm Angie Petabito Alisnas and Eric John. And we are the researcher of the study and they're us. Impact of using Facebook application as a new market of selected accountancy. Business and management student from Roman National High School. School year 2021-2022. Pwede mong time mo sa ngayon. May next ako ba? Wala pa ni sir. So, background of the study. Sir, pwede mo kami. Marketing refers for the... To the extensive relationship between the business and its customer, it is a process where the business catches the interest of its customer, whether regular or potential. The main focus of marketing is determining the customer needs and wants in order to drive the working force behind the company's product and services. 
An existing market is a market where customers spend time and money buying more or less. The same product are given companies selling. But in our generation, researchers can say that Facebook application is a new market because most of us use this application to buy or to buy or even sell product in easy way that may also that may also save our time so that you can spend more time with your family and friends and also you can save money because you because you as a buyer you, you don't need to commute but you need to pay for the delivery called shipping fee According to Chloe Thomas 2003, to sell online well, you need to need to work out what your strategy is and stick to it. The most common factor of all the successful businesses is being all committed to their customer with a great service. It doesn't just be a nice people to them, it's also about putting the needs of the customers. First, in everything your business does, from the product to the website to the delivery, Nothing you ever do in your business will be finished. In some ways, everything is permanently in the in test mode. You have to have a policy of constant optimizing, find the area that's working the least well, and make it better. Using the Facebook application as a new market is helpful to use because it helps the cost to consumer to buy their wants and needs in a way that they can save more time to their family. Also, for the seller, it can help to sell a product and to get in an income to just by posting in it on their Facebook accounts. They may increase the brand awareness of their products in the way both seller and consumer have advantage. Mm -hmm. Buying product through the internet is called online shopping. It is a form of electronic commerce which allows consumers to directly buy goods or services from a seller over the internet using a web browser. <laughs> Selling online is not easy. It takes a lot of time, hardship, in order to income just to sustain our needs. As a newcomer to online selling, the first step is to seek prof professional advice to avoid issues such as data security, customer loyalty, unexpected price hikes, returns, refunds, and fulfillment. At the end of this research, it is expected that buyers and sellers will have knowledge about, about what strategy, strategy and what problems they need to face because successful in their business using Facebook as a new market. It is also expected that we will produce a billion videos on how to promote your brand. We will also ask participants to submit and share ideas or content created solely by them. This motivates the buyer to purchase any relevant products or services because they know what their wishes are being valued. Sunny Popoli 2017. Yeah. Statement of the problem. This study aims to know the impacts of using the Facebook application as a new market and to determine how it will develop a better transaction between buyers and sellers. Furthermore, it seeks to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the proper correspondence in terms of age and sex? Number two question, what are the factors affecting the effectiveness of using the Facebook application as a new market with respect to price, place, and service. Question number three. Is there a significant difference in using the Facebook application as a new market for selected accountancy business and management students? Results and findings. This chapter discusses the interpretation and analysis of the gathered data. This would return the problem stated in the previous chapter. Presentation data. Presentation is a way of arranging data into logical, chronological, and significant categories and classification. Table 1 shows the frequency and percentage distribution of the respondents in terms of sex. The table shows the respondents that are equally divided in terms of their sex. In this table, the majority, 0.75% of the respondents are female, and their frequency is 15. On the other hand, 0.25% of the remaining respondents are male, and the frequency is 5. Table, the table 2 shows the frequency and percentage distribution of the respondents in terms of age. Table 2 percent the total frequency and percentage distribution 
of the respondents in terms of age. The frequency under 19 to 22 years old has a total of 7 and its percentage is 0 0.35. On the other hand, has a total of 13 frequencies and, and 0.65% in percentage of total 100%. Conclusion. Therefore, the, the researchers conclude that most of the respondents are entertained in using Facebook application most of the time and use them as their way of communication. Number two, most of the respondents considered Facebook application as the best way to sell product because it lessens their time working outside in terms of generation. It has a big effect of using Facebook application to follow new trends. Recommendation. As per the data gathered in the conclusion, the researchers would like to recommend the following. Online sellers. This study would be a help to serve as a guide on online sellers. The researchers also recommend that they must do their best to satisfy the needs and wants of their customers. For online shoppers, this study would be a help to the online shoppers for them to be aware of what other online shoppers inside of buying online. Recommendation for future researcher: the study may serve as a guide for the future researchers. Sir, yung ano, yung output of the study hindi namin sinulat pero ano? Meron po kaming explanation. Sir, question. Hindi ko marinig. Sir, ano ang study nyo? Ano yung output? Output of the study po namin is ano, ano, pwede Kaya po namin gumawa ng video material po para po i-show kung ano po yung mga knowledge, problems, and kung paano po maging successful yung isang online shopper sa pagsisimula po niya ng business sa paggamit ng Facebook. Okay, gagawin niyo yun, ha? Apo. Alright, sige. Back tayo sa inyong background of the study. Okay. So, first paragraph, tell something about your research. Sa tingin nyo, nagawa nyo. You give information about your research in three to four sentence only. Ah. Yung sentence yan. O, then, pagdating sa papin yan, paki-double space. Uy, mag-note kayo, isulat nyo yung sinasabi ko. Baka din yung mga tandaan. Note nyo. Then, baka sa paper nyo, nakaganyan din yan. Ha? Double space dapat, then yung gilid, pantay dapat, naka-justify. Ano? Then second paragraph, okay? Second paragraph should be the legal basis of your study. Legal basis. Ano yung legal basis? Batas. Oh, batas ba yung si Chloe Thomas 2003? <laughs> Republic Act. Pag sinabing batas, Republic Act o kaya Death Ed Order. Oh, Republic Act na may kinalaman sa study nyo. Okay, sir. Yes, yung title and then ano yung content. Yung highlight lang, nung may ano, pinakang connected sa study nyo. Yun yung sa second paragraph. Again, legal basis. Third paragraph of the background. Third paragraph, you establish the connection. Kung baga, i-coconnect nyo yung legal basis sa inyong present study. Right, the connection. Ano, connection and legal basis. Ano ba kinalaman sa study nyo? So, ilagay nyo sa third paragraph. Legal Okay po. Connection. Fourth paragraph. Ano ba yung problem na nakita nyo? Ay, fourth na ba yun? Fourth paragraph. Ano yung problem na nakita nyo? Why you conduct your research? Why you conduct your study? Okay? Fourth paragraph. Ano ba yung nakita niyong problem? Ano po? Pero kung ako ko online shop... Oh, ka, ilagay niyo sa papel niyo. Ilagay niyo sa papel niyo. Ano yung problem supported by study? Okay, supported by literature? Para, kung baga, hindi niyo inimbento. May patunay kayo. Halimbawa, sinabi ni Popali na problema ang mga uh, problema ang business ngayon. Tara, hindi makalabas. That can be a supporting verse. Sorry. And then, 
uh, quick paragraph. <laughs> quick paragraph. Uh, Ayaw kang tumawa dyan, Angel. Ah. Baka gusto mong <laughs> Angel. Uh, yan. Quick paragraph, yung outcome ng study nyo. Ano yung kalalabasan after na matapos? Anong benefits na study nyo? Ilagay nyo sa quick paragraph. Malinaw po ba? Opo. <laughs> Ang uso kasi ngayon, naka-formal yung pang-itaas, then naka-short na pang-ibaba. Ewan ko, baka ibasay nyo, naka-short rin. Naka-short kami, sir. <laughs> Alright. Next. Statement of the problem. Tingnan natin. Statement of the problem. SOP. Okay. Okay. Yan. Profile. SOP number one nyo, what's the profile of the respondents in terms of age and sex? Nasaan yung resulta? Hindi <laughs> po, sir. Ayan. Ayan. Paano nyo discuss yan? Sir, 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 D, o, oh, anong pa, presents the frequency and percentage distribution of the respondents in terms of sex. Ganyan. Answer. Ganun. So, present. Yan, ganyan ang ano, introduction. Hindi nyo kailangan i-define po ang ibig sabihin nung, ano, nung presentation, ano. Hindi ni-define yun. And then, ang pag-discuss ay apat na part four part. So, una ay yung content ng table. Content. Ibig sabihin yung number. You play around the number. Ay, bawa, uh, you explain, you choose, uh, you, uh, you state, you write, ano yung pinakang mataas, ano yung pinakamababa. The topmost and the least. Ganun. So, yun yung first paragraph sinasabi kung anong laman ng table. Okay? So, from that, lamang ay mas marami ang, ang top one. Rank one nyo is yung age 16 hanggang 18. O, yan yun. So, discuss sa first paragraph. And then, second paragraph yan. Tama yan. On this table, majority of the person female and their frequency is point H na itong ano yun. Yun yung nagpap na yun eh. O, yun ano na. Second paragraph, meaning. Ano ngayon ang meaning? Kung, alimbawa, 0.65, 16 to 18, 0.35, 7, 19 to 22, anong ibig sabihin yan? O, ibig sabihin, it means that majority of the respondents are Sixteen to eighteen. Oh, sixteen to eighteen, and then at the age of. Ano ba dapat? Ano ang ano ang respondents nyo? Grade. Grade twelve. Ano ano dapat ang edad ng grade twelve? Ay ano? Seventeen to nineteen. Nat nasa tamang edad ba? Karamihan sa respondents nyo. Hindi po. Ay, oo, 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 sir, oo, sir. Iyon, iyon ang meaning. Iyon ang meaning. Okay? Then, implication. Implication yan, in terms of age. Ano yung epekto ngayon? Kung nasa tamang edad na yung mga respondents nyo, anong ibig sabihin? Tungkol saan yung study nyo? Effects, impact of using Facebook application as a new market. Facebook as new market. Ang respondents nyo, grade? Grade 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, Oh. Sir, uh, pinapakita po doon yung siguro doon sa 16 to 18 na yan, maraming 
parang ano, alam nila yung gagawin nila kasi oh, yun. They can give the right information. Yun yung implication sa pagbibigay nila ng data. So ang implication, hindi nyo na makikita sa table yan. Sa inyo manggagaling. Pababawin natin, epekto. O kaya ay malalim na ano yung mahihinuan nyo, madadampot nyo from that. So yun yung implication. Ano? They can give the right information because uh, they are on the right page. And then at the same time, fourth paragraph ay parallel or contradicting study. Hanap kayo ngayon ng resulta, mga study. Kaya nga kayo may RRL, eh. Review of Research Literature. Hanap kayo ng parallel study na kaparehas nung sa resulta nyo o kaya naman contradicting. Halimbawa, uh, the result of the study is parallel with that of Alice Nas 2025 that most of the grade 12 students age from 16 to 18. O, ayan. So, the result is similar with the study of, ganun yun, sa fourth paragraph. O kaya naman, halimbawa, uh, wala kayong makita. Ang nakita nyo, most of the grade 12 students age from 25 to 30 years old. So, the, stu the result of this study is contradicting with the study of Evelyn 2025. That, ganyan. O, contradicting naman. So, four paragraph format. Naintindihan po ba? Kada table, i-discuss nyo in four paragraph format. Okay, next tayo. SOP number two. Ay, boy. Check ko lang. Okay, nasa nyo yung resulta? Factors affecting factors affecting. Oh, hindi oh, na yan. Oh. Na pero may ganun pa, din natin sa Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 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 Question number three, is there a significant difference? <laughs> ano ang pinaglalaban nyo dyan? Pati nga ng data. Significant difference saan? May I see? Yung ano? Paano nyo pinumpute yan? Back mo nga. Isa may ano? Hey, hindi yan. Balik ko. Uh, so may table. Table. Oo. Uh -huh. Okay, yan. Ay, number three. Uh -huh. Hindi, doon. Hindi, yung sagot natin. Hindi, bak mo ha. Yung sagot natin dun sa number three. Ito ba? Bak mo pa, bak mo pa. Ay, forward mo pa. Sige pa. Hindi, na. Lagpas mo. Ay, lagpas na pala, sorry. Wait lang sila. Ako tatawa ko sa... Napapresyo na ako. <laughs> tutuwa, ako, tutuwa ako sa inyo eh. Mukhang wala pa kayong tulog ah. Opo, sir. Basta naman mo yan ah. Alam na alam ko mga style nyo eh. Sa totoo lang. Ito na ba? Hindi, hindi sa pa. Yan? Hindi, sa pa. Bali. Sir, bawal po sa rin yung sa sa may sa may first paragraph. Ayan po yung significance ng of our study. <laughs> okay. Makinig. Pa pakibasa po yung module nyo, no? Pag sinab, hindi, hindi po yan ang sagot. Balik mo ulit doon sa SOP number 3 nyo. Okay. Well, when you say significant difference, kung may pagkakaiba ba na kapansin-pansin, halimbawa, Sabi niyo kasi dito, is there a significant difference in using Facebook application as a new market for selected accountancy? Unang-una ay magulo yung tanong niyo. Hindi niyo alam kung ano yung pinagbabangga niyo. Ano? You say significant difference, alimbawa, sa ano, paki ano nga, Kaya number two nyo, factors affecting, hinahanap ko eh. 
naglagay kayo ng mga factors affecting the effectiveness. So, ibig sabihin, perception yan. Tapos, may mga nagsagot kayong estudyante. Paki ano yung next table dyan? Yan. So, dyan, meron kayong dalawang respondents. Male saka female. When you say significant difference, titingnan nyo kung may pinagkaiba ba yung sagot ng male sa female. Kung may malaking diferensya, may malaking pagkakaiba. Halimbawa, ganito ha. Tingnan nyo. Uh, halimbawa si Cedric. Cedric, grade mo nung first grading ay 74. Biglang naging 75. May difference? Wala. Meron. Eh kung ganito, grade po ng first grading 74, biglang naging 94. May difference? Wala. Saan mas matutuwa ang magulang mo? Sa 90. Although yung 74, naging 75, may difference. Pero hindi mo siya masasabing significant. Kasi hindi, hindi matutuwa magulang mo eh. <laughs> pero, pero kung yung 74 mo naging 94, ibig sabihin napakalaki ng difference nun. That can be significant. Uh, pinapaniwala ko yung ibig sabihin ng significant difference. O ngayon, pwede yung paglabanin yung sagot ng male. Is there a significant difference between the evaluation of male and female respondents? pag niyo yung sagot nila ng male saka female para makita nyo kung may difference ba sa sagot nila. Kino compute yan using ilan ang respondents nyo? Oh, t-test lang, independent t-test. Ibalik nyo sa SOP nyo. Statement of the problem. Oh, ngayon, ayusin natin yung statement of the problem number 3 nyo. Pagbabanggayin natin yung profile ng respondents. Ano? Halimbawa, is there a significant difference on the evaluation of the respondents in terms of the factors affecting the effectiveness of using Facebook? O pagbabanggay yung sagot nila sa number 2. SOP number 2 nyo. Nagets nyo? Ulitin ko, pakisulat. Is there a significant difference on the evaluation or on the perception of the respondents with respect to factors affecting the effectiveness of using Facebook as a new market in terms of 3.1 age 3.2 sex. O oh, yan. Pagbabanggay niyo yung mga sagot ng respondents. Kung may pinagkaiba ba sila. Kung may significant difference. Ang gagamitin yung computation dyan ay independent t-test. Pakitingnan yung module, I think nasa module number 5 or module number 4 yun. Yung pagko-compute ng example. Ano? So that is another table. That will be your problem number 3. Nakakaintindihan po ba? Okay po? Next slide yung tanong. Anyway, pwede kayo magtanong sa akin. PM nyo ako kung paano kinocompute. Kung hindi nyo maintindihan yung sa module, pwede kayo mag-PM sa akin. Pwede kayo mag-Gmeet. Google Meet. Pwede nyo rin na, ano, schedule natin. Basta wag lang ano, ating gabi. Ano? Okay po? When, wag rin. Siguro mga... Uh, pwede rin siguro mga... 9 o'clock ng gabi. Pwede rin ako nun. 9.30. Right. And conclusion nyo. Conclusion. Yan. Okay. Tingnan nyo maigi ha. Tungkol saan ang tinatanong nyo sa SOP number 1? Ha? Huh? Oh, tungkol sa 
profile ng respondents. Yung conclusion number one nyo, may kinalaman ba dun? <laughs> o, oh, ayun. Dapat nakaangkla sa naging findings nyo sa SOP number one. Naintindihan? Naintindihan? Opo. <laughs> may kinalaman dapat yan sa age, saka sa sex. Oh, Yung SOP number two nyo, tungkol saan? Price, place, and service. Ha? Ah? Price, okay. list, o oh, tungkol doon sa mga factors. Oh, yung nilagay nyo, may kinalaman ba yan sa factors? Narin po. Nakuha nyo na yung connection, yung paggawa ng conclusion. Tapos, ganun din sa recommendation. Yung recommendation number one nyo ay dapat nakabase sa conclusion number one. Tungkol rin sa profile. At yung recommendation number two nyo dapat may kinalaman rin sa factors. Magkakapatid yan. Nakuha niyo yung connection. Ah, yes. Dapat sila dikit-dikit. Ano, hindi sila nagkakalayo. Nuggets? Na ibig sabihin, kung meron kayong tatlong SOP, statement of the problem, ilan dapat ang conclusion nyo? Tatlo. Ah, ang recommendation, three, and then plus one. Balip apat. Ano yung pang-apat? Recommendation yon para ituloy yung study nyo ng ibang researcher using other variables. Nagets po? Oh. Ah, parang parang natahi, natahimik kayo. Ah. Ewan ko kung natututo kayo or may, kung may natututunan ba kayo. Or... Parang parang wala akong naitutulong sa inyo. Ah. Parang, parang, para maayos yung research nyo. Okay? May tanong po ba? May tanong kayo? Lahat na po. Sigurado kayo? Sa ano po, sa, sa susunod na araw, kasi wala pa kami naisip na itata. Kapag may in pa ulit sa siguro ng research na kami magtatagal. So, ayusin niyang research nyo. Congratulations sa inyo. Congratulations. One half, one half congratulations kasi ayusin nyo pa yan. Pero may nagpresent naman kayo. Overall, very good naman kayo. And nakatulong po ba yung ating coaching? Kasi yung iba, alam nyo, nakita nyo ginamit kong term, final presentation. Okay, present lang kayo. Pagkasay, yung iba kasi, depends, depends. And depends, bakit? May digmaan ba? Sasaksakin ba kayo? Kailangan yung dumipensa? Hindi naman. Eh. Let's change the mindset na pagka ano eh, depensi gisahan. Kung bang inaayos natin, kinukoach lang kayo para mapaganda yung research nyo. And then, Sana ay maintindihan nyo ako kasi yung iba sabi, Sir, health break, health break. <laughs> Ayun naman. Nasa bahay na nga lang kayo. Paupo-upo na lang kayo. Paupo-upo na lang kayo. Wala na kayong ginagawa. Tapos kagagayan nyo lang sa Christmas vacation. Break, <laughs> break. O, diba? Tapos break na naman. Sana all, nagbe-break. Diba? Nag-break na kayo. Walang forever. <laughs> oh, sige, uh, hopefully ay nakatulong sa inyo And then kung may sakaling may babalikan kayo I-upload ko na lang itong video to I-send ko sa inyo yung link ano? Sir, kailan po yung pasa ng finals? Eh, health break nga eh <laughs> Health break nga eh Health break, sa February na yan, sa Feb na yan Pero pwede kayo magpa-check sa akin this week hanggang sa ano, walang break-break sa akin. <laughs> Para makatapos kayo. Eh, kayo, kung willing naman kayong gawin, eh, wala ang problema sa akin yun. Willing rin naman ako mag-sacrifice. Time ko. No, ganun lang naman yun. Eh, kung tamad na tamad kayo, wala, ayaw nyo gumawa, ayaw nyo kumidos, eh, hindi mo kayong gumawa. <laughs> Pero, magpapasa pa rin kayo. Tandaan nyo yan. Ang akin lang, huwag kayong magsayang ng oras. Ano? Hindi lang dapat masayang yung oras. Hindi lang. So, so dapat ay naunawaan nyo yan. Ano? Oh, ang galit lang naman sa, sa ginagawa natin ngayon, yung tagang mga walang ginawa eh. Sa loob ng dalawang buwan. Ano yung mga hindi nag-asikaso? May nagre-reklamo kasi eh. Ay, si Pet. Si ka, si Marites. Ano? Ano yung Marites? <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> I-send ko na lang yung link Pwede kong i-send yung link ng personal sa inyo or sa GC nyo 
upload ko to sa YouTube channel and then doon na kayo manood. <laughs> para para si Katie mga pinagagawa niyo dito mapapanood sa buong mundo. <laughs> Alright, so sige, pwede na kayo mag-out and hopefully may natutunan kayo. Thank you. Kayo. Okay. May next pa ba? Pakitawag kung may next pa. Oh, sige. Alright. Okay, thank you.